Okay, so we're going to start off on the fifth fret of the B string, okay, which is the second string up, and we're going to play that twice. Then we're going to go up to the seventh fret of the same string, then the ninth fret, and then finally the tenth fret. There I'm picking down, up, down with my right hand, and then I'm going to go back to the seventh fret and go down, 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 up, down. Okay, so that part actually repeats in this solo, so it's important to, uh, to remember that. It's gonna go. Okay, so the first time round, it's gonna now go with your little finger, fourth finger on the 10th fret of the high E string, and it's gonna go. So it's gonna go 10, nine, seven, back to nine. So then, as I said, it's gonna repeat that first bit. So it's gonna go five, seven, nine, ten, seven. But this time, it's gonna go um, with your second finger on the 10th fret uh, of the high E string, and it's gonna go 10, 12 with your fourth finger, uh, nine with your first finger, and back to 10. So, so far we have this. So we've reached the tricky part of the solo. This part is quite fast, um, but it uses a lot of legato. And what I mean by that is you're gonna be pulling your fingers off the string. So whereas here I'm picking once, with my right hand, I'm actually producing three notes by pulling my fingers downward off the string. Okay, so um, I gotta have my first finger on the ninth fret of the high E string. My second finger is gonna go on the 10th fret of the same string and then my fourth finger is gonna go on the 12th fret. And uh, I'm gonna pick once on that 12th fret, but then my little finger's gonna come down, and then my second finger's gonna come down. And we've gotta do this four times in a row, like this. Okay, now this part is slightly different because it's gonna move down a couple of frets. So my first finger is now gonna be on the seventh fret. Um, my third finger's on the ninth and my fourth finger is now on the 10th. But I'm gonna do a similar thing here. I'm gonna pick and I'm gonna pull my little finger off. This time my third finger's gonna pull down. Um, but it only does that once because this is where it gets a bit tricky. You're gonna move your fingers down onto the B string and do exactly the same frets. Then you're gonna go onto the G string. Uh, your fingers are gonna shift back a finger position, basically. So now your um, your fourth finger's on the ninth fret. Uh, your second finger's gonna be on the seventh fret. And your first finger is gonna be on the sixth fret. And it's gonna do this. And then, same thing on the D string, okay? So, uh, as you know, in the track, it is quite a bit faster than that, but do practice it uh, at that speed. That is the key to getting this right, is playing it slowly first, um, maybe even along to a metronome, and then gradually building up the speed rather than trying to do it fast straight away. So it's gonna sound like this. The next part is really tricky as well because whereas we just came from here, you're now gonna have to jump all the way to the high E string with your first finger. Um, your third finger is gonna go on the seventh fret of that high E string and your fourth finger is gonna go on the ninth fret. So it's gonna have to stretch up quite a bit there uh, of the same string and you're gonna go. So you've got three of those, and then it goes into the next part. So it's gonna sound like this. So you've got two sevens, 
Then it's going to go from 10 to 12. So the next part is a bend up on the 14th fret. It's basically a semitone bend, which means you're essentially you're playing up to that D note on the 15th fret and then back down again. So that's the note we're trying to reach like this. And then back down. So we've got... Then it's going to play the 14th fret of the G string. The 11th fret of that same string. Then it's going to go on to the uh, 14th fret of the D string. Okay, so and it plays that three times because it goes... So you've got three, uh, three notes on that, uh, basically the E note, the 14th fret of the D string. Then it's going to go with your first finger back on the 12th fret of the B string. Then it's going to go on to the uh, 14th fret again with your third finger. This time you've got another bend up to that D note. Um, but it doesn't come back down really, it just goes, just goes up to that note and it goes. Then it goes, yeah, so 14, 12 on the B string, 14 on the G string and back to 12 on the B string. So here's a demonstration of that final section.